Zandai Libre, Editor-in-Chief, True Tales Publication, Mrs. Betty K. Chai Kwu, Vice Chairman, True Tales Publication, Dama Bimbula Fashhala, First Lady, Lagos Sid and Enomezi, Group Managing Director, Signature Group during the launch of Hello Magazine in Lagos over the weekend. Photo by Lamity Bam Idol Reputable International Magazine, Hello has hit the Nigerian market. The glossy paper was officially launched into the Nigerian market last week Sunday, September 29, 2013, in Lagos. The event took place at Wheat Baker Hotel, Ikoi, Lagos and it witnessed the influx of Nigerian journalism gurus in attendance. Earlier at a press conference held in Lagos, the editor-in-chief of Hello! Nigeria Magazine, Ms. Zanzil Blay, said that the scandal-free publication aims to tell the African story well to the outside world. She added that the magazine will use its global platform to positively project Nigerian celebs to the rest of the world. She was confident that brands will key into the magazine's vision. Blay also disclosed that Hello! Nigeria will be distributed to four other English-speaking West African countries. Also speaking at the event, the group managing director of True Tales Publications, publishers of Hello! Nigeria, Ms. Enomezi, revealed that the company is poised to make success with the magazine. She further noted that TTP will bank on its achievement with Hints Magazine which the company started publishing since 1989, to make Hello! Nigeria another success. On his part, the group head, Marketing and Corporate Communications of United Bank for Africa UBA PLC, Charles Aig, expressed his company's joy in working with Hello! Nigeria. He expressed optimism in UBA getting value from the partnership. Click the link below to go to Oscar-nominated actress tackles shell over oil spills a new car for an amazing fan, Basella Annie, gets new car on Ellen DeGeneres show video Chica Ike flies dad to India for life-threatening surgery she's not on my level Stephanie Oker's ex-hubby speaks the British government set to withdraw support for Nigerian corrupt officials and children.